brings a good point. Like, do men like being chased yes. by women? No, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> okay, women, take note. <laughs> yeah. Men yeah. don't chased. like being chased. Yeah. Men, men loves where we love the initial chase, but it's weird because like we're we're like instinctual. We're we're hunters. Like we're. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to say this in an egotistic way, but like we're we're hunters, and so we love the sport of the game. Like we love Nunje, right? right? But we love the sport. But once we get it, we just let it go. It doesn't mean anything to us. Once we get it, it's meaningless. Hmm. So once we know that we have it within our grasp, like a right? Yeah. Oh, so, okay. So then what does a woman chasing, like, what exactly does that mean? Does that mean, like, like, what, how, how do you, like, in the past, like, when have you been turned off by someone chasing you? Um, so. Like, answering your phone call? Like, should you, like, skip every other phone call that they call you? Yes. Ask me uh, for I, <laughs> I do I do kind of know this stuff by nature, but even I fall to my you know fault to my own traps. And which is like, you know, when, when I do experience a woman chasing me excessively, that is a turn off. Because, mm. you know, like women, we also need our space. We really do. And we need to have a sense of control, sense of control of our uh, of our life and our and our environment. So when a woman is kind of intervening into your life excessively, that kind of, that really turns us off. It really does. Because then we, then we kind of feel like, oh, well, maybe we're not in solar control of our lives. <laughs> mm -hmm. So men don't like being chased by women, but do they like being approached by women? Like if you were at a bar and a woman came up to you because she thought, you know, you look handsome or you had potential, how, how do men feel about that? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to give you two scenarios. And so uh, one scenario is depending on what type of guy I am. Okay. And um, if I'm a low-value guy, uh, which means I'm, I'm introvert, I don't go out much, I don't get to experience, you know, social interaction, yeah, that would be a positive to me. That would be a, a plus for me because then uh, less work, right? Less work for me to interact and to meet an amazing woman. But if I'm a high-value man, and I'm very uh, selective about the women that I choose to be with. Like, yeah, you know, that might be a little turn off because then, you know, again, it's like it's like going back to the hunter scenario, right? It's am I am I really fishing in the open waters or am I fishing in a bucket? <laughs> and so, you know, it's it's it sounds archaic and it really does, but um, again, it just goes back to the thrill of the hunt, and so. Um, and it adds and it kind of continues to like respect because like we really want to work for what we what we really want and desire you know because when we work for it we, we appreciate it more and we respect it more and, and it applies to to women as well you know if, you really, if I really work for you like okay, I'm gonna love you more I'm gonna cherish you more I'm gonna, and, and you know what the the trophy and the track and the plaques that I have on my wall on my, on my mantle it's going to mean so much more as opposed to the, hey, it was just kind of like thrown in my life.